and we're back welcome to fetch quest my name is joshua and today's video is all about the deep mines we have a lot to cover here so i don't want to waste any of your time let's get right into the video thank you all for being here i'm going to recommend a few things that you do or have with you just to make your trip down into the deep mines a little bit easier every time Definitely consider buying a torch from John's Goods. Basically a flashlight, even though he says it isn't. 6,000 dinks. And this one is a requirement, but you'll need to buy a mine pass every time you enter into the deep mines. It is 25,000 dinks. That's why I say it's maybe not early game, but by the time you have this unlocked, you'll probably be making some, some decent money every single day. Also keep in mind, because it is 25,000 dinks every single time you go to the deep mines, what you're next going to want to do is empty your pockets and your backpack to make room for all the goodies you're going to pick up while you're down there. On my toolbar below, I always want to make sure I have my spear with me. I also crafted an iron spear. I haven't used it yet, <laughs> saving it for, uh, for when my copper one breaks. But I like the range that this has, and uh, it's definitely easier uh, if the bats are attacking you to just kind of get them from range. You just kind of jump and attack. I'll showcase that in here in a bit. Definitely bring a pickaxe. Recommended would be a copper pickaxe if you can upgrade it. As you can see, this one's nearly broken, so I crafted another one above. Bring a torch. It's going to be dark down there in the mines, and this serves two purposes. Not only to illuminate. But also, if you press the action button, you can stun an animal if you're facing it once. Um, I haven't found that I can do it more than once. It could be a duration of time. But I know you can stun things like the crocodiles and the bush devils by flashing this in their face. So if you don't want to fight them, you can do that and run away. Bring your old keys. Here in the mines is finally the opportunity to use these things that you've been storing up for such a long time. Hopefully, I'll run across some... Uh, gates we can open and I'll showcase that. Go ahead and bring some traps. Maybe you want to bring home some crocodiles or some bush devils to sell. So you are more than welcome to bring some traps. Waddle brew. This is a big one. Similar to jellies. If you kill 10 jellies and put them in the keg, you put 10 yellow wattle flowers and see with just two plants, you already get six, but you put 10 in the little keg there. And after a long time, it'll give you wattle brew. If you, as you can see there, it gives you 25 energy, but also that plus sign indicates that your bar is going to increase. It also has the added benefit of making your mining better for 10 minutes. What is that, a hammer or an axe? Maybe it's an axe uh, and you're fishing. It increases all of those, which means, for example, mining, it takes fewer hits to break the rocks. You can craft the jelly brew and it gives you 50 health and 50 energy. Uh, it doesn't increase the bar. But as you can see there, the added bonuses are for like gardening or uh, harvesting. And I'm actually not sure what that X means, the four minutes. Comment down below if you know what the X represents. You're definitely gonna wanna bring some food, food that increases your health and your energy. Cooked croco meat is an excellent example. Kill some crocodiles, throw them on the barbecue, get some of this cooked croco meat because uh, this is going to be definitely helpful. I should probably bring more items that would increase my health, but let's just go. You come in here, use your mind pass, start going down. Hammers are also really good at smashing rocks. And as you can see there, it also has 18 attack. It's really slow, but if you can get attacks off, it does some crazy damage. All right. Is, oh. As you can see, it's dark and bats are annoying and they are relentless and will follow you everywhere. So if you're wanting to mine peacefully, do a jump attack and miss consecutively. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to record a video. All right, let's look at the map. The deep mines are huge and every time you go down there, I believe it's randomly procedurally generated every time you go down there should be gates with treasure chests that you can open sometimes you'll come across some junk cars and you can break those down and it gives you some parts let's just wander around and see what we can find there's gonna be a lot of glowing mushrooms 
Your first few times down here, you may want to pick them up. There's a few crafting recipes you can use glowing mushrooms for. Otherwise, I like to leave them because uh, it gives me a little bit of illumination in the cave. Let's go ahead and drink our wattle brew. Mmm, tasty. You can see my energy bar went up a little bit. I also did get hurt by the bats, so I'm going to eat a cooked croco meat. It'll recover some of my health, but also make my health bar larger. All right, and my energy bar. So we're looking good, ready to tackle the mines. I already have some iron ore. So with the wattle brew, it only takes three strokes of the copper pickaxe to break it. And for the copper, it only takes two. The crocs down here. Oh my, oh yes. Let's kill this bat. Let's just watch this play out. Wow. Yeah. Y'all do all the hard work. Oh my goodness. Bats are the things you got to watch out for. Okay. It looks like this glowing mushroom infested crocodile won. If you get up on something like this on a big rock, they can't attack you. So it gives you time to plan your attack if you need to. Let me showcase the torch. If he's gonna run at me, I can press the action button and it stuns him. His health is low because of his uh, previous fight. But I can't, I can't stun him again with the torch. Oh, I can hit the bat. <laughs> the more you know. Let's get one more strike. Now, in my experience, the crocodiles are great for dropping the croco meat because you're going to use so much of it. I have brought a cro uh, one of those glowing crocodiles back to the drop-off point. And correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think I earned any more money than usual. So it's up to you. You can bag them and tag them and make a little bit of money. But unfortunately, it's... It's not significantly different than the regular crocs on the surface. All around the deep mines are going to be walls that look like this. You can break them. Then you like carve your own path. So if I really wanted to on this map where I'm walking on this red ground and I want to get over there, I could pickaxe all the way through. And here we are. Alright, here's an example of one of those junk cars. Bring out your pickaxe. And look at that. It's dropping wheels and gears, springs. Sometimes you'll get lucky and they might drop an old contraption. Those are useful to hold on to. Oh, perfect. Sometimes you'll come across these little guys. You can see there's a red gem on there. You want to break it and you can pick it up. Unfortunately, if you are using your torch for light, when you're holding something above your head, you're no longer holding your torch. So we get to carry this back in the dark. But before we do that, let me drop it because thankfully you can drop multiple items that you carry overhead and drop them in your mine elevator. So for example, if you find multiple rubies, if you are trapping multiple monsters, you can just drop them in the mine and then when you go up the elevator, they come with you. What we're going to do is carry this bad boy back to the elevator and then continue exploring. So I'll use that strategy I talked about earlier. Place a beacon point on my mine exit. So I'll pick this up. All right, we made it, y'all. So I can come in here kind of serves as a transition point, almost like a safe zone. Let's say you were being attacked and you were low on health and you were just running back to the elevator. The monsters won't follow you in there. So you're safe in here. You come in here, drop it, and we can go back out. I have accumulated some followers. All right, this is what I wanted to show y'all. You'll notice these walls are significantly different than the normal cave walls. And if you look on the map, it looks like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a ball with a little opening part on the top. 
But when you see gray, this is your indicator that you can use your keys in this area. You just have to find the opening. So where that top part is of this circle, that's always going to be where the gate is. And you typically will need two keys in order to get in. So let me break away this part here. My Waddle Brewers ran out. There we go. All right. But I can use my key. There's one door. There's another door. Sometimes when you come in here, there will be monsters. Maybe there's a crocodile. Maybe there's some bats. But in this case, there's nothing. Let's see what we have. You don't have to use a key to open up your treasure chest. Oh, looky here. And there's an old contraption. It does look very useful. You also get paint. Oh, that's paint remover. I found some paint, but not paint remover. That's cool. I haven't used any paint, but uh, the description says you can paint vehicles. So green or blue or red, you can paint your vehicles. And then I guess if you no longer want that color, you can use a paint remover. Let's go ahead and put our helmet on. My man, Sleepy. And that's about it, y'all. You may uncover more secrets than even I've shown in this video or that I've seen myself. But I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this was helpful. This is just a, an example of what you can do down in there in the mines. So here we've reached the top. I can pick up my ruby. Pick up my crack. And we're back on the surface. Successful mining mission. And that's all I have for the deep mines at this point. I really do hope this helped you. It really can be a scary place down there, but with the right planning and the right equipment, you can face your fears, get in there, and conquer the mines. If you did enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to Fetch Quests for more Dinkum content. I do want to make more videos for y'all and keep playing this game. I'm just having such a blast. Don't forget to go do some Fetch Quests of your own because sometimes the rewards are worth it. Bye, y'all.